affairs of men. Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another quick uh, tutorial, mini uh, tip and <laughs> technique, I suppose. Uh, today we are in Unreal. As you can see here, I have the character, the Simon character from uh, what it's a collection from Real Illusion and it's streaming live into Unreal, the Unreal Engine. And what I wanted to show you how, was how I could stream this MVN data from MVN. Uh, this is the XN suit uh, that I've been testing and the data looks really, really good. And right now it's because I'm recording <laughs> at the same as uh, playing back. So that's why it looks a little bit uh, choppy but when i'm not recording uh, it plays back nicely and uh, the streaming works very well so there are two ways to do the streaming uh, one right now i'm i've pre-recorded everything so i streamed from mvn from the excellence uh, program mvn animate pro 2020 and i was able to use the streamer the network streamer stream directly into iClone using the motion live uh, plugin so that's one way to do it but you can also stream directly from mvn pro animate through the live link uh, plugin for iclone then into unreal and then you can use uh, the sequencer to record of course there are other ways to record directly from animate pro but the reason why i uh, from mvn animate pro the reason, the reason I like streaming into iClone is I can customize the motion capture data uh, fix. For example, as you can see in this tech right here, I've done the hands and the, usually, I mean, the first, uh, when I look at the data itself, because I don't yet have a finger tracking in this suit, um, Manas is sending me <laughs> their gloves. But once I get to have gloves in here, I'll be able to stream the gloves together with a full body mockup data into iClone and then into the Unreal Engine. Anyway, so first things, let's uh, uh, deactivate the link so that nothing is happening in uh, Unreal. And I'm going to stop the playback and rewind all the way to the beginning. And let me switch to my preview. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of uh, the session that I recorded previ previously. I select my character. So you can see all the editing here. So I'll keep the visims. That's the facial animation that's on the character. And I used the uh, live face plugin from Realusion to do the facial motion capture. And use, I, I didn't use face cap. Uh, the one that I use is called live face and it's you can find it on the app store as well it does a really good job and you're able to stream both the face and the body like the body the mock-up uh, uh, data from the suit together with the facial animation straight from iClone using the live link then into the Unreal Engine anyway so get let's get rid of uh, the motion right here so it's back to the t-pose and I'll probably, I'm going to create a new camera because I think I moved the other camera. So there might be a key, but to speed up uh, the process here. All right. So there's no data right now. However, if I play back, you'll be able to see the facial animation that I pre-recorded already. And right now, this session, I'm not doing the facial animation. I'm just doing the showing how you can stream this data from the XN suit into iClone and then into the Unreal Engine using the live link, the iClone live link for Unreal. Okay, so I'm gonna select a range. Uh, so for example, this is this data in Xsense has already been HD processed, so it looks really clean and nice. You can see the fit, you can see the hands, and the body is all stable. Stable, stable, stable. <laughs> That's why I'm so grateful to Xsense and Faceware for this support. Um, I mean, I've been using other suits, but I, I can say that uh, for the price that you pay for this suit, the, there's a reason why it's called a pro, you know, professional suit, a mock-up suit. Uh, you get really clean data, and they say it's uh, it's impervious to magnetism. <laughs> that is the the selling point. So anyway, so we're gonna get uh, like range from here all the way to like like right there and then i'm gonna select at the top here in the play area i start start select playback range 
and then I'm gonna loop that. I'm gonna go to my network streamer, and make sure the streaming is working. Okay, close that, and then I go to Icon and select our character here, and we'll stop the playback. I select the character, bring back, pl go to plugins, go to motion live, and we'll bring motion live over on this side, and we're gonna enable. Make sure the body is being controlled by Xsense and click on Xsense. So that means that uh, it's streaming directly into iClone. So if I go back to Xsense over here, this data is going to be streaming. Let me move it over here. So if I press preview and press the spacebar, so there we go. So the data is streaming into iClone right now. And the reason why I was telling you that uh, I like streaming into iClone is because the hands as they are, I can go in and uh, edit them after after the fact. So anyway, so it's streaming now. And uh, please uh, bear with me for the choppiness, but that's because I'm recording at the same time as playing back this data. And it's a lot of information being sent back and forth. So while this is streaming, I'm going to go to the Unreal Live link and click activate link and let's go to unreal there we go <laughs> it's almost like magic but exactly what's going on here in iclone is being streamed into uh, the unreal engine and the data looks really good uh, again uh, just as a disclaimer is that the data does stream smoothly into the unreal engine it's just because right now i'm recording at the same time as uh, playing back the data so what I did today was I was able to show this data right now live. It's actually streaming live from the Xsense uh, program. This is our MVN Animate Pro 2020. So whatever the character is doing here in MVN is what you're going to see over here in iClone and in unreal so the unreal live link is the one that is making all this possible and this plugin is actually free if you own iclone and uh, you, you have an account you can download it for free i used to cost money but uh fortunately real uh, came around to supporting the you know the indie uh, industry and so they helped us with this as a free plugin so please take advantage of it guys uh don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell yeah, so that you can you are alerted when i post a new video and uh, i always end with uh, an encouragement for you to never give up on your dream dare to dream big and take advantage of, of these tools that are coming on the market to pursue your dream uh, put in something every single day every little thing that you do contributes to bring your dream to life so what i was pointing out today was using the unreal live link to send the Xsense data, the, the Xsense suit data, into iClone and then off to the Unreal Engine. So that's another quick tip for you to <laughs> take advantage of, advantage of. Thank you guys. Thank you for your support and thank you for clicking like. Please share your thoughts uh, if you're using this uh, workflow. Let me know what your thoughts are and uh, post your comments down below. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.